Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another quick video. This one is actually me diagnosing a client's or student's ads live, okay? So uh, this is a student of mine, May, and she has a variety of clients. I've taken her from zero to I think we're about to pass $4,000 a month in her agency. It's been like four weeks, I think. And this was one of our calls and uh, what really she was confused with was just like the copy, the targeting and all sorts of things. So really this is a pretty valuable video. I recommend you stick around and watch the whole thing and take some notes because uh, you know, I know that getting results for clients is one of these things that a lot of channels don't talk that much about. Uh, and I just want to, in my mind, what is the easiest way to do that is literally just to show you what I already know about getting results by just showing a recording of a student call. So hopefully this is valuable to you. If you'd like to hop into the coaching program, Links in the description. You can schedule a free strategy session call to see if you're qualified. As well, the course that I'm developing now has over 50 hours of recorded coaching call uh, or recorded coaching calls, so you can get access to that as well. Links all in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, be sure to take notes. Can you go to um, instead of this page, go to not ads reporting, but manager manager yeah much easier for me to look at okay cool yeah, I, hate the, I hate the reporting page i don't get it <laughs> really yeah, yeah i never use that thing <laughs> okay i like using that four bucks today two sign ups five sign up in total Seven she, got, she got like one more i don't know where that came from but hey that's not a bad yeah thing. the pixel isn't always accurate <laughs> Yeah, so is that a custom conversion or would that be uh, just... Yeah, it's custom. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Great work. Okay, so and then 725 per sign. And what's the LTV per client for her? Do you know? Did she give you a number or is that not really like a solid number? Um, I think it could be unlimited depending on where they want to go with the company. Okay. If they just want the products, it's... It's, it could be like hundreds of dollars a year if they want to sign up and actually like partner with the company um, and then do similar to what she, something similar to what she's doing, then it could be unlimited. Okay. okay. Really like how much effort and focus you put into it. Like yeah. you can out. Let me go ahead and see all your ads. Just go to the ads tab. Okay. Let me see everything you're rocking here. Okay, so you just have one ad within each ad set? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that is one thing I would change. So I know it's one video and you're testing one video, mm -hmm. but I would, I, would, I would play with each ad set. Because, I mean, you know, an ad set, what it is is it creates an environment for ads to compete against each other. Mm -hmm. So if you just have one, you're severely limiting the potential. So okay. if each of these had two or three different ads, even if it's just a slightly edited version of the video with different – different points. So like, you know, instead of it just being the video, it's the video with a box around it, you know, or something, or instead of being a video, it's a, it's a photo or whatever with copy, you know, you're giving, you're giving your campaign variables basically. Yeah. Like his Facebook is an AI auto learning machine that learns what works. Our only job is just to give it as many variables as it needs to be able to combine them and figure out what clicks, you know? And so that's, that's, that's the biggest thing I would do here is just add more ads, put more in, you know? Um, and, you know, it will lower the budget per ad, but for now that's fine. Um, and is this all within one campaign then? This is all in, in one campaign, yeah. Okay, can I see the campaign? Yeah. The campaign real quick. I have something about your parents, okay. Uh, go ahead, edit on it. It's got 36 link clicks and five signups. It's a great ratio. Is it? Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, scroll down. Or actually, I'll go to the ad set level. Sorry, not the campaign level. I'm, I'm looking for a certain thing. I could with these menus, I can never remember which what exactly I'm looking for. I'm seeing what you're targeting here. Well, they're always like changing everything. So yeah, I know. Yeah, I just want to see. I want to see like let's go to your most successful, the two signups, and let's just see what you're targeting. Parents who like Joel Furman. Is that what you're targeting? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Smart that you're naming your ad sets off of what you're targeting. That's good. Okay, so it's split. So you've given it. Okay, gotcha. So you're split testing ads, not ad sets. But there's nothing for the ad sets to split test because there's only one ad. Hmm. So I was split 
testing the audience in this. You're split testing the audiences here? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Since we 3.6 million, can you targeting, scroll down, I just want to see the targeting still. Locations, okay, 26 to 35. New parents. Okay, gotcha. All right. So why are those the must also include? There must also match. I'm curious. Is, are they just more important? Um, kind of fit, just trying to get into your head yeah. here and figure out how you're thinking, you know? It is. I guess we could just do like this without all of this crap and see how I mean, we goes. could. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's no way to know what would work or what wouldn't. I'm just trying to figure out. I just, I just want to hear, there's no wrong or right here. You know, it's like, it's literally just yeah. Facebook variables. I'm just trying to think, figure out how you're thinking. Yeah. And no, I mean, I appreciate that. Cause that, like, I didn't think of it that way. Like, why didn't I just do this? Mm -hmm. um, it, it does remove a little bit of the noise for sure. You know, um, because yeah. that's the thing too, is, you know, Facebook will naturally expand the audiences just a little bit. Like I told you really, right. So like, yeah. you know, you have the bulk of the audience, but then you have the outliers, the people who are just barely qualified for that audience, you right. know? And mm -hmm. so to include that many, you end up with a lot more outliers, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Let's keep, let me keep going down. I like to just keep, keep saying exclude. What are those exclusions for? So these are people who already work with her company mm -hmm. and is like her corporate nine to five employer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want them to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny. Okay, cool. Sweet. Placements, all placements, or you edited the placements. Okay, no Instagram, audience network. So why no Instagram then? Uh, Cause it was just too long of a video. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah. It was like two minutes long, you said? It was two minutes long. Yeah, said so it would be a bit long for Instagram. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, so my, my only feedback then would be to um, narrow in your audience targeting. There's no need for it to be that that many. You know, if you can if you can condense it, condense it, okay? Okay. Um, next, you're going to want to put more ads into your ad sets, okay? So if each ad set has only one ad, like, you know, a campaign is a place for ad sets to fight over each other, and an ad set is a place for ads to fight over each other. So your campaign has ad sets. Your ad sets should have just as many ads as your campaign has ad sets, really. Like, that's the, the perfect environment, you know. Uh, but, of course, it's unrealistic for a lot of people. So, you don't need to have, you know, five per ad set. Like, two is infinitely better than one. Okay? Yeah. Um, so, what you're saying is, for this example, like, parents who like Joel Furman, this is one ad set. I can have, like, five different ads within this. Yeah. And they can all be the same five ads in each ad set, too. So, you just need to come up with four new angles and then just put those in each uh, ad set. Okay. Because you're going to give, because then Facebook has options, you know, if you mm -hmm. only give it one option, I mean, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so much because and even if it's just a slightly different copy, like that's, okay. still, you know, yeah, no, that's what I wanted to do. I just wasn't, I didn't know it was possible because of, because of the split test mm -hmm. and uh, because yeah. I chose that option. I think because you're split testing audiences. Yeah. It forces you to have one ad within your audience because you're not, because it doesn't prioritize split testing, you know, because right. that's the thing though. People, you know, people like, and this is my understanding of Facebook because I don't do a lot of like Facebook built in split tests. I don't do them very often. But what I do do is I have a campaign with lots of ads and many, lots of ad sets and many ads. And I naturally can just look at the metrics and see what is working and what isn't. Yeah. So, or, you know, what about split test when I'm first creating the campaign. I wouldn't even do that because, okay. you know, because then it forces you into certain weird parameters. Like right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. I felt like that was a limitation. It is a little bit, you know, it's kind of like the only reason you do it is if like, you're kind of new to play from what I know, I could be completely wrong. Okay. So, cause I don't do split tests that often. Uh, but like split tests, all it does is it basically just says, okay, you know, we're going to prioritize this testing angle, which for you is audiences You're split testing audiences. So that only lets you have one ad within each because it's not wanting to split test ads, it's wanting to split test audiences. Mm -hmm. So because it's it's has one single variable throughout the entire campaign except for audiences. You yeah. know, what you want to have is like one campaign, then five ad sets, which is five new variables, then, you know, five ads within each ad set, which is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, you know, yeah. ads for it to play with, with different ad audience angles. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's still a great campaign. It looks like you got your targeting down pat and, um, you know, you got the custom conversion set up and the landing page is working. So 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, or just add more ads, and then yeah. increase budget slowly. Uh, if you're going to if you're going to increase if you're going to scale this, don't just increase the budget. Duplicate an ad and add a dollar to it. Okay, or uh, duplicate an ad set and add like a dollar or five dollars to it. Because oh. because just moving up the budget on an ad set, you're completely destroying all the things that it's learned so far. It's so like you know what I'm saying. It's, it's learning where to place itself, how to optimize the budget perfectly. So if you change that variable, it it changes the entire makeup of the camp of the ad set, right? So just mm. duplicate your working ad sets and add a budget to them. You know, if you want to double the budget, just duplicate an ad set once. If you want to triple a budget, duplicate an ad set, then double the spend on that new ad set, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That works way better. So can you repeat that part where you said don't do what should I not do? I, I told I missed that. Don't increase the budget just straight off. Leave the oh, budget. Okay. Yeah. Like specific as mm -hmm. to like what, what, where I want to increase mm -hmm. it. Because if something's working at five bucks a day, it may not work at 10 bucks a day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's, that's a, that's one of the many variables that makes up the campaign. Yeah. You know? So don't do it at the campaign level. Don't do it at the campaign level. Okay. Do it at the ad set level, duplicate ad sets. And you know, for the first 24 hours of its existence, you can play with it and set it up, but then you got to stop touching it basically. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah, because you got to let it learn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Good work. Thanks. It was really exciting. I was like, yeah, oh, it's fun stuff, really right? Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. It kind of feels just powerful. It's like, man, I can, like, you get into a point now where you're like, wait, why don't I just set this up for me, and then I sell stuff, and then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So this one was it was crazy. Like how many, like the fact that people watched till the, like the very end. How many views did it get in total? Let's see. 30 total. 30 that watched past up to 25%. Wow. How many, how many views in total though? I'm curious. You got 10 people watched past 95% or well, past watched the view at hundred percent. So let me see. Where would you go? Let's see. We have percentage. Would that just be impression? reach it may be impressions actually i forget like three I, actually yeah views. three second views me yeah so sweet yeah you got that's that's a pretty good rate yeah you're building a decent audience there yeah you know right. it's not bad no it's not yeah cool um cool stuff and i'm gonna send you this freaking ninja video here uh this is so i recently hopped into a new program called up level consulting um and it's a $5,800 course. So it's like no joke of a course. Wow. And yeah, it's, it's insane. And so um, by Sam Ovens, and he has this video this. called Horizontal Scaling. And this is actually in the up-level program, uh, but he put it on YouTube for free just because just it's a great video. And go ahead and watch that. It's a two-hour long video basically about the concept that I just told you about, which is horizontal scaling. Because vertical scaling is just adding more spend. But horizontal scaling is expanding the reach of your spend by duplicating ad sets. Like horizontal is like, this works, okay, let's spend more. Whereas, sorry, vertical is that way. Horizontal is this works, let's duplicate it and build a bigger army. Right, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's just not change anything about it. Let's just duplicate it and have more people doing that. So instead of making your strongest fighter stronger, you just make a hundred equally strong fighters. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's basically what he talks about. So it's really, it's a really smart way of scaling a campaign. Um, and as you begin to get any success with your campaigns, you need to think this way because it is so much more effective. It's like a hundred times more effective. Okay. Than adding, even if you spent a hundred bucks on an ad set that you know that works, it's better to just duplicate it three times, you know, even at a $3 a day ad spend, like, because yeah. you're throwing off the whole makeup of the system if you just add budget. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with yep. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you spend less too. It's more effective. Yeah. All right. So let's uh let's do the step number three here. And we should we should kind of go a little bit quicker then. But that was good. Emily's campaign, that was good. I'm glad we spent time on it, but I do want to finish up your agenda here. So uh, 